I think everyone in a relationship should be faithful if you commit to that one person. I think it depends who you are. The slightest thing and they can be unfaithful. I think when you've loved and trusted somebody all your life and they do that to you, I think it's probably beyond repair for me, even after 38 years. I think sometimes you can love your partner, especially like even men, like for that one second you can find someone really attractive and then just kind of forget everything else. There are some very few rare occasions where you could possibly feel sorry for the person why they could be cheating because there could be underlying reasons why they might be. They might not be getting enough love or enough attention and so they turn to other people. I'm not condoning it, but perhaps that's what people probably might do. You've got to be honest with each other. You've got to not really have secrets. If you've got problems, you need to talk about them. Otherwise, they just manifest themselves and they get worse then and then you end up falling out and you're not really sure why you fell out. If a man or a woman's going to cheat, they don't love their partner at all and that partner's not giving them what they need, so they have to go elsewhere for it. I think it depends because I think if it's like a one night stand that you meet someone on a night out, it's just been, like it's not good but it's stupid, but if it's like kind of a relationship where you're like meeting them several times, it's different. I think if you love somebody, there's no, if you, why would you cheat on somebody? I know that in a situation, if you were with someone that you weren't 100% on, that sexual desire would take over. If I'm being honest, I think for a man, it would probably be easier for that desire to take over. It's happened last week, didn't it, to be quite honest with me. I got propositioned and just flat turned it down because it just wasn't the right thing to do. And I'd have broke her out and I couldn't do that. I think it depends on the person. You can say no. It's, it's a choice. It is literally a choice. In the moment just before you kiss, where it's does sexual desire take over from your faith, I think a lot of people have concluded that in actual fact you have a decision, you have a moment that you can make a decision and say yes or no. Well, there's no excuse really. It's just weakness, isn't it? If, you, if you're going to cheat, it's not really love, is it? It'd be hard to forgive somebody. You would always have that little bit of a doubt, you know, to, to me. It doesn't work. If someone cheats, it doesn't yeah. work. Because you lose that, that trust in that person and every time they go out, you're sitting there wondering. I think once you've lost the trust, you've lost everything, really. No, it's gone. Everything's gone. Trust is gone. Love's gone. Well, you'll always love that person, probably, and it will hurt you, but you won't ever be able to look at that person the same way that you did before. I think it depends. If it was like a one night stand, I think you could probably forgive. But if it is. How which one of us is in a relationship and which one of us isn't? Um, I think if it's like, like, if they are meeting someone and texting someone and building like a friendship as well, like, you wouldn't be able to forgive that. We found that faith is really important in a relationship. It's one of the founding structures that you need to build a healthy relationship. And the people who we talk to have been in a relationship for years and years. You can tell the trust is built between them.